Waza people, welcome back. Well, some time ago I posted a topic on why Windows users cannot switch to Linux, or at least some Windows users can't switch to Linux. Uh, that particular topic made me uh, popular, either, either loved or hated. Uh, for those of you who liked or disliked the video, thank you for all of your, well, for most of your civil comments. Anyway, some of you understood what I was trying to get at. Some of you had your own thoughts. That's fine with me. I was strictly posting my opinion as a dual booter, dual booting between Windows and different forms of Linux. So I thought, why not try the reverse? Why can't Linux users switch to Windows? Um, now, some of you dual boot, such as myself, I completely enjoy dual booting and having the best of both worlds, as it were. But here is my list here. This is by no means a complete list, but I think for most of you who use Linux exclusively, I think this covers most of it, I hope. If I missed anything important, please let me know. All right, choices. Yep, if you like choices between all the Linux distributions and the forks, uh, you definitely want to stick with Linux. Security, although I have had no issues with security in both Windows 7 or Windows 8, my number one reason why I use Linux is security. You say stability, uh, Linux is more stable, not so fast on this one. Uh, it depends on which distro, rolling versus uh, a semi-rolling release or rolling versus say an LTS or non-LTS non this can vary now I'm talking about your home computer not company servers but stability can vary with Linux uh, it can be stable or unstable just as it can in Windows especially if you have crapware or spyware so as far as stability goes although I believe that the Linux kernel itself is an amazing piece of stable technology I'm not so sure one would necessarily have the advantage over the other. All right, the next reason is you hate certain companies. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good enough reason, but that is certainly your decision. Free and freedom. Yep, most Linux distributions are free. Some you can download a free version or a paid version. Really, <clears throat> it's more in the... Um, Excuse me, it's more in the form of a donation, but free and freedom. Yep, I'll give you that uh, Let's see better driver support mm, Sometimes two issues I've had constantly uh, Would be video drivers and printer drivers, but uh, and some of you have some have issues with wireless uh, support wireless cards, but for the most part Linux can be better, but not always in terms of driver support one click updates this is awesome in Linux if you are new to this and install say something new like Ubuntu Linux you may get a pop-up saying there are updates available not only does this update the operating system but your programs and apps so that's pretty cool there no restarting in Windows I did some updates install wait reboot install again reboot restart uh, now in Linux you normally don't have to restart although lately I've had to restart a couple times not always but yeah I would say 99 percent in Linux you probably do not have to restart after updates you say you like to customize well if you like to customize and change out what looks the looks and feel of Linux I'll give you that one I think one of the reasons though why I like uh, why I like Windows 8 is that it looks different I know you may like it or hate it some of you don't like it that's fine but look look and feel I like Windows 8 because it is different and in Linux you can make it just as different and as customizable as you want it to be alright well those are my thoughts as a dual booter why you as a Linux user cannot switch to Windows not a complete list if I mix uh, if I missed anything important please let me know below in the comments I will be happy to share them in a future video. All right. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to subscribe and support. Thank you for all your ideas, comments, and support over the years. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.